Our Father and our God, we We thank God for the expressions of worship. A little bit more volume, Sheila. We, we thank God for every expression of worship. We thank God for every expression of worship. We, we thank God for every expression of worship. We thank God for every expression of worship. Amen. Yes. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. Every one of them. Every, sometimes you just, sometimes they just wave their hand. That too. Amen, somebody. Sometimes they run when ain't nobody behind them. Sometimes they cry when ain't nothing wrong. Sometimes they shout, holler, what every expression of worship. We thank God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Our Father and our God, we come now in a sincere effort to expound on your word in a way that brings clarity to the mind, to the heart of the hearer. We solicit the presence of the Holy Ghost that at this time the Holy Ghost would take this your preacher wrap him in the arms of your word and allow your word to come through with power with authority that it will so stay in the heart of your people 
But at that time, they sold the desire and need it. You would bring it back. As you said, a fresh and a new. They will hear your voice. And they will obey the call. They will obey the word. They will walk and not be weary. Even, even God, they will, they will run and not be weary and walk and not faint. Because you have spoken to them by the way. God, we just thank you. We thank you, God. Speak, Lord. For even as Samuel said, thy servant hear thee and will obey. God, we ask now that as we walk this thing out, you walk with us as you have said. And we'll give your name glory and honor. Careful to do that. Realizing we can do nothing of ourselves other than fail. And we can't do that too good. But if you'll be with us, all things are possible. And then God, that person here today that needs a commitment, that person who's listening to me that needs a commitment to you, God, you speak to them. You draw them nearer to the saving grace of your power. And God, we'll just throw up our hands and say, you did it again. Because we realize there's nothing we can do of ourselves. But with you, all things, they're possible. We thank you in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I've certainly enjoyed today. You all have had a worship experience like none other. And we thank God for him visiting us and, and, and blessing us. And, and we thank God for all who have preceded us. I cannot tell you how many times I have uh, been a witness for God and, and we hear over and over and over and over the same thing. Um, pastor, uh, minister, deacon, uh, choir member, um, they'll tell us all the same thing. Pastor Williams, once I get this worked out and, 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 and once I stop doing this and, and once I... Uh, uh, quit doing this. I'm, I'm going to come to church. I'm going to give my heart to God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give God my life. And, and today, amen, there is a word from the Lord. Amen. And this word is one that I want not only for us to to, to, to take in our hearts and minds ourselves, I want this, this, this to be one that when the next time you hear that, and you will, the next time you witness to someone and they say that, Sister Gwen, and you will, Brother Dwight, the next time you share the word of God with someone and they say, as soon as I get through with this, as soon as I get through doing this, then I'm going to come. I would that you would share this word with them. St. John, the first chapter. The gospel recorded by St. John focuses on more of the deity of Christ than the other gospels. It is not one of the synoptic or the similar gospels like Matthew, Mark, and Luke. It is the one that focuses on the deity or the person of, of, of Jesus Christ. First chapter. And I'm going to begin reading at verse number 40, 43. And I'm going to go on down a little ways and we're going to deal with this. Help us, Holy Ghost. The day following, Jesus would go forth into Galilee and findeth Philip and saith unto him, follow me. That's all we tell them, follow Jesus. Now, Philip uh, was at Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and uh, Peter. Philip findeth Nathaniel and said unto him, we have, we, we have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write 
Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathaniel, in his somewhat of a doubt, uh, Y'all ain't never witnessed nobody and seen no doubt. And, and, and said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? And this is what I like right here. This is what I like right here. Now I want you to know at this point, Nathaniel ain't believing all that right at this point. See, a lot of times, they need to just come on as they are. With their unbelief, with their doubt, with their stuff they got going on, with their stuff they ain't got going on, they need to come on. He said, just come and believe. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, come and see. Now I want you to watch this. Jesus saw Nathanael come unto him and said unto him, behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no guile. Nathanael said unto him, whence knowest thou me? How you know all this about me? Watch this now. See, they, they, they think they're coming to Jesus and he don't know what they're already doing. Uh, Y'all better come on. They think, they don't, they think they're coming to Jesus and he don't already know everything. Now, you need to tell them he already. Sit down, y'all. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. That's all I'm going to preach about. That's all I'm going to talk about. Jesus already Listen, I can sit down and go on home right now. Listen, the word, the text is Jesus, the Lord, already. Ain't nothing you can tell him he don't know. Ain't no way you can take him that he ain't been. Ain't nothing you can give him that he ain't got. He already knows. So you might as well come on. Uh, come and see what he can do for you. Uh, come and see if it's a good thing. Uh, come and see if he'll change your life. Come and see if he'll bless you. Come and see. And listen, all Philip told him, he said, why don't you come and Ain't God all right? The next time they tell you, when I get through doing it, he already know about that. When I get through, so you might as well come on. When I get through smoking, when I get through drinking, when I get through chasing, when I get through, when I get through, he already. I come out of there to tell you, he already. That's all I'm. That's all I'm coming to tell you today. Church ought to be full right now. Half the folk trying to get something worked out. Some of them trying to get something else worked out. Some of them trying to get some. Listen, the devil ain't going to let you all get it all worked out. You got to come as you are. You got to just come and see if God can do it. And I know he can. And I know he will. Ain't God all right? Now I want you to watch this. Can I, somebody say, go a little further, Pastor. Oh, y'all didn't say that right. Y'all got to say it like you all got to say it like you feel it. Somebody say, go a little further, Pastor. Uh huh. I'm finna go a little further. So Nathaniel in verse forty-eight said unto him, "Whence knowest thou me? How you know me?" Then Jesus break him down. He said, before Philip called you, I saw you over there on that fig tree. Wait a minute. Yeah, 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 wait a minute. Wait just one minute. Wait just one minute. Now see, he's, what he said, now wait a minute, can I, can I go there? He said, I already been seeing you at the gathering place. 
crystal. He said, I already have seen where you hang out. I saw you before even Philip brought you to me. I already know where you've been hanging out. I already know what you've been doing. I saw you under the fig tree. I don't know what was going on under that fig tree. The word don't tell us. Ain't that good about Jesus? Jesus don't expose your stuff, but he lets you know he know what's going on. We can leave it to our mind. What went on under that big tree? We can leave it to our imagination. What went on under that big tree? But my God, when he straightened you up, when he straightened you out, he don't never talk about what yesterday. He don't never talk about what you used to do. He don't bring it up what you used to be. He don't bring it up to your friend. He don't bring it up to your loved ones. He don't bring it up to your enemy. All he do is, I know what used to go on under the big tree. You can leave it to your imagination. I can leave it to my imagination. He knows. Yes, he knows. Just. Ain't God all right? Ain't God all right? You need to tell somebody he already knows. The Lord already knows. He said, when I saw you walking down through here, I already know what was going on on the fig tree. But I also know you're an honest man. Ain't no gal in you. I'm calling you. Ain't God all right? Oh, my God. Oh my God. Somebody ought to be feeling this. Anybody feeling this? Oh my God. Now watch this, y'all. Go back to verse 40. I'm gonna show you something else. Somebody said, preach, Pastor T. Y'all say it like you feel it. Preach, Pastor T. One of the two which heard John. And all that means is they heard the preacher. See, John the Baptist, he represents the preacher. They could have said he heard Pastor T. So could have said he heard Pastor Ball. Could have said he heard Pastor Williams. All that means the preacher. Y'all got it? No matter who it is, they ain't following the preacher. They all don't want to go. See, first thing, another thing, I'm, uh, somebody say, preach, Pastor T. Yeah. See, the next thing that a lot of them tell you, I ain't going up there giving my money to all. Uh, yeah, 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 y'all ain't never been there. I ain't going up there. You ain't following the preacher. <laughs> Amen, somebody. You're following Jesus. The Bible says that he heard the preacher, but he followed Jesus. I come by today to tell you, it don't matter if it's John. It don't matter if it's Pastor Bo. It don't matter if it's Pastor Willie Williams. You ain't following the preacher. You're following Jesus. The Bible said he heard the preacher, but he followed. Y'all didn't say that right. Come on, let's do it again. The Bible said he heard John the preacher, but he followed. He heard John the preacher, but he followed. He heard John the preacher, but he followed. Oh, I feel like preaching. Ain't God all right? Ain't God all right? Let me watch this. I want y'all to watch this. We're going a little deeper. We're going just a little deeper. One of the two which heard John speak or the preacher speak followed him and the him is Jesus. Watch this. Was Andrew Simon Peter's brother? Now I want you to watch what happens here. Wait just one minute. And it says he first findeth his own brother Simon. Uh-oh. Now Somebody say, get your toes back now, Pastor. You finna step on. Watch this now. If God's using you, then the first thing you ought to go to is your own family.
Don't y'all throw, don't, 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 don't shout me down. The Bible said that when Philip found the Lord, the first person he went to, it didn't say one of the brothers. Read it. It said he went to his own. Don't, 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 wait a minute. I want y'all to see that. The first person you ought to be witnessing to is them closest to you in your own house. Amen, somebody. You ought to be witness to your family. You ought to be witness to your own family. You ought to be getting them in the house of God first before you try to save the world. I come, y'all don't got quiet on me. I come to preach today. If I ain't in the book, just let me know. That's why I love it. That's why I love what being up there. And anytime I get out the book, y'all let me know. He says he went to his own. Quiet up in here now. He went to his own brother. All right, let's watch this. Let's keep going. I'm with you. Y'all stay with me. Simon. That was his name. I want y'all to watch God again. I love this about God. And, and he said, and he said unto him, now we got to understand, let me give you just a little history before I get there. The Jews, Miss Tan, have always uh, been waiting for the Messiah. Amen? Even now, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, uh, oh, even now, thank you, Holy Ghost. There may be some, there may be some Jews on your job. Yeah. When you witness to them, you, you, you say the same thing. Because, see, the Jews are still awaiting the Messiah. So when I'm witnessing to maybe a Jew, an Orthodox Jew, I tell them that we believe that Jesus Christ is the Ma Amen, somebody. And while you're waiting, we just want you to know we've already found the, y'all don't wanna go. So the Kathy, we tell them that while you're still waiting, we've already found the Messiah. His name is Jesus. Ain't God all right? So when this Jew was witnessing to a Jew, he said, we've already found the Messiah. Ain't God all right, y'all? Oh, God's all right. I know I'm preaching. Ain't God all right? Now I got to go one step farther, which being interpreted, the Christ or the anointed one or the one from God. Well, let's go a little farther. And he brought him to Jesus. Now I gotta get some of this out of the way. So now we find that Andrew, wait a minute, is bringing his brother, who is Simon, to Jesus. Y'all with me? Now watch what Jesus does. And when Jesus beheld him, being Simon, he said, thou art who? Wait just one minute. You mean to tell me he already knew his name? Huh? See, now watch that, watch that. Now, now, now when I go and meet somebody I ain't never, Hello, I'm, 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 everybody calls me Pastor T. I have to introduce myself. But when the Bible says when Andrew brought him, he didn't have to introduce him. He said, here old Simon. Now I want y'all to watch this. Don't miss this. Don't miss this if you, if you, don't please don't miss this. There was something going on in Simon's life that wasn't befitting with his calling being called to Jesus. Now you can leave it to your imagination. It was something going on maybe under that same tree. I'm gonna just leave that to your imagination. Or maybe it was another tree. 
that there was something going on in Simon's life that did not line up with his calling to Jesus. So the first thing Jesus did, he said, I got to change your name. Ain't you glad that you ain't no more June bug, but your bro Robert ain't God all right? Ain't you glad that you're no longer me, sir, but your first lady, Tony? Ain't you glad? Ain't you glad? God changed your name. Put your name in the Lamb Book of Life. Ain't God all right? We can leave it to the imagination what that old name meant. But ain't no need to look at back there. I got a new name written in glory. Ain't God all right? Ain't he all right? Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! I love it, y'all. I love it, y'all. You love it? Watch this now. I need to show you something. You can leave it to your imagination. But he says, he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus looked at him or beheld him, he says, thou art Simon, son of Jonah, but thou shall be called Cephas, which is interpreted a stone, or in the other tongue, Peter. Uh-huh. Now can I show you one more thing? Listen, whenever you introduce yourself, and I'm about done, y'all about got this. Whenever you introduce yourself, and we would introduce ourselves, I would say, I'm Pastor T. And the older people would say, yeah? <coughs> What's your name? I say, my last name, Terrell. And they stop and look at you. You look like an RL boy. Jesus said, you mean you the son of John? Y'all don't, y'all, y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't. So, so Peter said, how you know my dad? Y'all don't hear me. Good God Almighty, how you know my mama? He already. I don't think, ain't nothing you can tell him that he don't already. Ain't nothing you can show him that he already seen. I come by today to tell you, he know you. He know your mama. He know your daddy. He know your granddaddy. He know your grandpappy. He know all your folk. And he know all about you. So ain't no need of you trying to hide nothing from him. Talking about you ain't gonna come to you straighten it out. He already. Good God Almighty. Ain't God all right, y'all? Ain't God all right? Let me tell you something. We have got to be God's witnesses. Very, very, draw me close to you. We have got to no longer be shy. No longer be afraid. And, and, and forget what their life look like. Because some of y'all's life look worse than that. Before you got to Jesus. And don't let them use that excuse. It's easy to remember. St. John, the first chapter. Easy to remember. You tell them, look, Peter must have had something going on. And Jesus had to change his name. Good God Almighty, Crystal. And said, now, I don't know, but Philip must have had something going on. I saw you under that tree. Let your imagination do what they want to do. But my, my, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Bible said whatever you've asked forgiveness for, he buries in the sea of forgetfulness. And as far as the east is from the west, never to come up against you again, nor condemn you at the judgment throne. You tell them that old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. Wait a minute. They ain't new right now. You still got a limp in your walk. You still got the smell of alcohol on your breath. 
but you keep coming, all things become new. You still got cigarette smoke in your clothes, but all things become new. You still got your mind over yonder and your body over, but all things become Good God Almighty. If you're just hanging here with Jesus, all things become new. You know why? Because every time you come, Jesus draw you a little closer. He draw you a little closer. And every time he draw you, stuff starts falling off. Good God Almighty, stuff will start falling off here. Because he draw me a little closer. Y'all don't hear me? Every time he draw me a little closer, stuff start falling off. Yeah, old stuff I don't need. It start falling off because he draw me a little closer. And after a while, I'm going to be just like he woke me. Because he already knows what I'm dealing with. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Don't stop thanking God for the stuff that's fallen off of you. Don't stop thanking God for the stuff that he cut away and circumcised out of your life. Those things that meant you harm. Those things you picked up. Those things that try to attach themselves. Hallelujah. Those things that meant you no good, but you couldn't see it. You didn't understand. But God in his awesome mercy, his amazing grace, that kept you for such a time as this, some went through the exact same thing, did the exact same things, but are not here today. But there was a, as a, as a, a design, excuse me, a design that God had put in place for your life that has not completed. And God wants you to finish your assignment. Don't get off track. Don't get distracted. If it offends you and offends God, cut it off. If it's not helping you get where you need to be, cut it off. Cut them off. Cut it off. Let it fall off. God has already covered you by his blood. Let it fall off. Don't try to hold on to it. Don't try to make it work. Don't try to make it fit. And I don't know about you who sat and who listened to this word today, but I'm thankful for the things that God has cut off of my life that were weighing me down, that were sucking the very life out of me. I didn't look like myself. I didn't feel like myself. I didn't walk right, didn't talk right. And the worst part is I didn't even realize the condition I was in. But praise be unto God who saw more in me than I could see in myself, who saw me in the finished work, knew what was good and beneficial to me and what was not. And he helped me to separate myself from things that were not in his will. Hallelujah. Anybody glad that God knows better for you than you know for yourself? Hallelujah. The doors of the church are open. Amen. We want to encourage you today, whether you're here today or listening by social media, that you've been carrying this long enough. You've been bearing it long enough. You've not prospered in it. It's done you no good. It's not helping you to a better, helping you to a better life. It's not helping you to the way of prosperity. It's not helping you to be healthy. It's not helping you to think right. It's not helping you connect with the right people. You've been trying to make it work long enough. 
thank God for the word that the pastor has brought today. Thank God that God told him to remind us that he knows, yes, he knows just how much we can bear. And he already knows all about you, your situation, your family, your parents, those that came before you, and even those that come after you. Thank God for the word Pastor has brought today. And now if that word has in any way pricked you, in any way encouraged you, we encourage you today to stop treading this path alone and allow Jesus to be your savior, your saving grace, your covering, your healer, your deliverer. Allow him to lead you, guide you, and direct you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're here today and you're listening, we encourage you. If you would like someone to walk out with you because perhaps you need prayer today, we encourage you to come. Amen. Perhaps you need agreeance in prayer about a situation. We encourage you to come today. Amen. Amen. If you would like to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we would like to guide you to accepting and confessing him as your Lord and your Savior. We encourage you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless the little ones. Amen. 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 God bless her. Amen. Amen. Is there anyone else? Amen. We encourage you today to come. Amen. 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 Miss A. Amen. Amen. If you're listening by social media, we encourage you to pray this prayer along with me. Say, Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. And I believe on the third day you rose with our power in your hands. I confess you today as my Savior. I accept you today as my Lord. And I thank you for loving me. Teach me how to walk in holiness. Teach me how to walk in love. Receive me unto yourself and lead me in the path of righteousness. Help me in the name of Jesus to live this life pleasing unto you. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me all my life. And I trust you with my life from this moment forward. Thank you, Lord, for accepting and receiving me. I believe that when I leave this world, I will live in heaven for all eternity with you. Continue to guide and lead me. Thank you for your spirit drawing me to your saving grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you pray this prayer, whether you're here or whether you're listening, we believe as you've confessed with your mouth, Jesus says, Lord, if you believe in your heart, you shall be saved. We thank God for all of you. Amen. You may take your seat. Amen. We thank God for all of you. We pray that the Lord will return unto Pastor T as he has so freely given to all of us. Amen. Anybody else glad to have a good pastor? A loving pastor? Just be thankful. Amen. Be thankful. Amen. And if at the end of this service somehow you feel like you should have stepped out or you should have said something, amen. We encourage you not to leave until you find someone to agree with you in prayer, amen. What a tragedy to leave and have the opportunity and know that you need to do something different and not do it and not have another opportunity. So we encourage you today, amen. Amen. What a great day in the Lord, amen. I'm encouraged. I don't know about y'all, but I'm feeling pretty good. Amen. I'm feeling pretty good. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We pray as the word has gone forth. 
as people have praised God and thanked God for the message and thanked God for the pastor, that we now have enough that we can go and share with somebody else. And if you've received and accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior today, we encourage you, get in a good Bible-based church now. Don't wait. Now, who that is teaching and preaching and walking the Word of God to learn how to live this new life, to begin to understand why Jesus did what he did for us, the one who sinned not, never sinned, and died and laid down his life for us who did. Amen? Amen. We want to thank God and ask you to continue to pray for those that we know are treading a path right now or going through, and we're aware that they're going through some situations. Remember them in prayer. Amen? Amen. We want to remind you that of the 2 o'clock program at First St. Paul Baptist Church, uh, Pastor Warrell will be celebrating four years. Amen. Of pastoral ministry, and Pastor T will be bringing the message today. We want to encourage you. They will be serving food between, I'm sorry, before the service. So it will be after their morning worship and before the two o'clock service. So if you'd like to get dinner, we encourage you now, once service completes, to go ahead and leave so that you can have all of that, all those goodies in place. I'm sure they have, you know how we do for pastor's anniversary, so I'm sure they're doing uh, quite a bit in anticipation of the guests and the celebration for their pastor. What a blessing to be able to join in with them today, amen? And if you're unable to make it today, we encourage you to pray for the service. Pray for them. Amen. Pray for Pastor T, who will be bringing the message. So if pastor's not in place um, to, to address any concerns today, we ask that you get back with him. It's the only time that he kind of will leave right after service is if there is another engagement or something pressing. Other than that, he's here every Sunday, every Wednesday. Amen. So we want to encourage you in that. All hearts and minds of one accord. Amen. Could we stand to be dismissed? Thank all of you for your patience and thank you for your attention and thank you for your worship and your praise. Love praising God with people who want to praise God. Amen. Amen. Don't you? Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. All hearts and minds of one accord. Father, we just thank you for this opportunity that you've given us today, how you've blessed us, how you've seeded the word into us through this preacher, and we pray that you restore unto him as he prepares to go and speak life again, Father God. We ask you right now, Lord, all of the hearers of the word, God, we pray blessings on, but more so the doers, God, even so, who will take this word and use it in the name of Jesus, O oh God, and it will bear good fruit. Father, we thank you for the good fruit fruit. We thank you for the good harvest, the good return, God, of sowing this word and taking it even further. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit that is able to keep us and bind us and keep us here now and forevermore, let everyone sing together. Amen. 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 God bless you. God keep you. And we love you. Shalom. Amen. Amen.